Hey, what's up guys? Rajat here from World of VFX. Uh, today we are trying to recreate this very simple forest kind of a scene inside of Unreal Engine 5.3. And this is gonna be a lot of fun, so let's get started. All right, we are right now in Unreal Engine. And this is the scene, I have made it. So first of all, we need to go to new level, empty level, create. So here it is. And first of all, we need a light. So go to Windows, uh, Environment, Light and Mixer. And simply check all this. Go down. You can find this option called Volumetric Fog. Simple. Check this on. And now we need to turn on very few basic setups. So first of all, click here. Go to Place Actors Panel. And you can type Post Processing and drag and drop. And close this window. And first of all, you need to type Lumen. And just check all this Lumen checkbox because we don't want without Lumen lighting setup. So after check all this, you need to turn on infinite this one and go to exposure and simply check this both go down this minimum and maximum simply make it to one by one. That's it. So these are the basic settings which you really need to do. All right. So now we just need to make our landscape. So go here, go to landscape and we have a very basic uh, displacement map or you can call it the height map simply click and import so i have this i attached this displacement map a description box please go and download and simply press open so you can find the displacement map looking something like this you can change the section to two by two but i'm just leaving it like that and press import so you can see something like this and this is only not visible due to exponential height and fog simply turn this off and you can see your landscape now go to selection mode and simply select the landscape and now we need to make it a little bit up so in my case, I type something like this value and we can see the landscape. So this is the old house model which I have downloaded from Sketchfab. Link is in description. You can definitely check this out. So I'll use this, but before doing everything, I just want to apply a material on the landscape. So simply select the landscape, go down. You can see the landscape material. So simply turn this material instance and you can find out uh, many materials. So I have already downloaded from Megascan. Simply select and you can find this ground mossy. Simply drag and drop, you can find out really nice looking ground texture for forest. And I really love this. So now change the lighting a bit, some kind of this, okay? And now let's import our uh, tree house, whatever you can call this. Now simply drag and drop your tree house, whatever you want to add it, you know. So you can adjust your tree house. So the tree house is uh, positioned properly. Now I want a bit of, you know, small pond kind of thing over here. So simply select the landscape, go to this landscape and you can find the sculpting option. Press control and click for up and shift and click to down this a bit so that it can create some kind of a river. So you can make this kind of a river and let's make it a bit smoother because this is very, you know, choppy kind of a thing. So, all right, this kind of, this will become your small pond, some kind of over here. All right, now go to selection mode once again. Now to make a pond, you need a primitive, so basic and uh, let's make a shape to, let's say plane and scale this up somewhere like this and move it down so that it can feel the ground now let's add a material on this surface so first of all click this material instance now if you go to your starter content pack you can find out some materials so first of all type water and press enter and you need to go to this engine pack you can find this mi pool and mi pool 2 so both are unique ones simply drag and drop and you can find out this amazing looking realistic small kind of ocean uh, sorry like a pond also, you can drag the second one as well. I really find out the second one looks really nice. Also, you can customize it from over here. All right. So now we need to uh, add a one character to check the size of this scene because it is very, very required. So I have already added. So first of all, close this water one. And if you go down, you can find this called third person. Simply go to blueprints. You can find this third person. Simply drag and drop this into your scene and it will comes up like this so now you can check the height of the character and the house of the character now it's looking absolutely right in fact perfect as well so now let's uh, add some foliages and trees over here now to add some foliages go to foliages panel and you can find this window over here and you can browse so many foliages right from here just like this i have downloaded through foliages pack from here so I'll just select few foliages right from here. So that will be our grasses and all. So simply select all this, drag and drop. 
so this will become a grasses panel also i have few different grasses and flowers from here simply drag and drop so now i have many many grasses types like this so now i need to decrease the paint density uh, somewhere like this increase the brush shape so this is my brush shape so if i click over here you can see the you know the sizes are pretty big so go down i'll just decrease the minimum maximum size so let's decrease the minimum size to like 0.5 and maximum size to let's take around 0.6 and now once you click you can see the heights are nice so i'll just make some random patterns so guys uh, as you can see i have done few uh, foliages and uh, the camera angle should be from here so now it's looking really nice so now we need to add one camera so go to level sequence add level sequence and press save and take a new camera over here and it's starting like this and let's make it to you know 30 mm make the focal length to 25 by 25 and it's looking already nice so i just want to make the camera angle somewhere here so that you can see the water and let's change the lighting setup a bit and now let's turn on our environmental height and fog and now it's looking really nice so now before doing anything i just want to add few big you know trees over here so that i'll also do using the foliage tab so simply go to again foliage tab now first of all select all and select deselect everything and now you can simply check from here so many foliages trees so this tree basically uh, our main tree so i'll just uh, first of all make the single instance more so if i click it will comes like this so let's click few trees and now from the camera angle you can't exactly see the both trees are exactly same and now once you're happy with your basic trees you can like generate multiple trees in multiple areas so i'll select two trees and this will enough actually so if I'll directly jump back from our camera view and uh, if I'll increase the camera speed and now let's simulate. So just increase the pen density and what I'll do, I'll just go down and increase the minimum maximum size and you can see, oh my God, this is too, too huge. Simply select this, click instance mode. So now you can exactly trees, like making trees as per your convenience. So this is basically helps you a lot now if you can't understand where we are going to simulate so just simply select the cine camera actor so that you can exactly understand where you are trying to simulate everything so if you notice if i'll click here the trees are covering up okay so now select the camera and uh, let's make a proper you know camera angle and all so i think this is pretty nice and you can add more trees really you can add more trees now need to go to exponential height and fog and increase the fog density fog fall off and also make sure you need to increase the scattering option all right from here now press ctrl and l to change the you know lighting direction so that the fogs will start you know applying right from here if you notice it start getting realism in the shot also if you can't find out so many you know fog and all what you can do simply select the exponential height and fog go here and make type 2 5000 so basically it will increase the fog density if you make it to 10000 you can see more fogs it will become you know some moody kind of a scene but in this case the light will decrease just because of the fog so it's all based on your uh, you know outputs if you make something like this you can see some sort of unique light setup so guys hopefully you really enjoyed this very short and simple unreal engine uh, landscape forest kind of a thing if you hit the like button, then make sure to subscribe. And if you like our video, then definitely share this video as well. See you soon in the next video. Till then, keep watching, keep rocking, follow the VFX.